So if your water pump seals look old, look ripped, torn, if your bearing is stuck, tight to turn, you'll want to replace that. The bearing on this is fine. So today I'll show you real quick what direction, what location, where to place these seals. First thing you'll want to do, remove the bearing, the old seals. You can just place that between a couple 2x4s. I got a 14 millimeter socket. We'll set that there, put a few hits with a hammer and until everything comes out. You had a few good hits. You can see it's almost out. So we'll give it a little bit more. And there you go. So you'll want to do before reinstalling everything, clean this real good. This is where your gasket goes. Clean the inside if there's any debris. So the important thing to keep in mind is going to be that hole there. And that hole actually doesn't come out there, but it comes out through that hole there. So how it would look installed on the bottom end, it would be like that. And on the mating half, there's actually a hole here, which is open to atmosphere. And so if your water pump seal leaks, it'll actually leak out of there. And from there it'll leak through here, through this case, and actually outside onto the ground. So that's just a telltale way of saying you need to replace your water pump seals. Alright, so I got the old bearing, cleaned it out, put oil in it. Spins real nice and smooth. So we'll want to start with that. Doesn't matter what direction it goes in, but it'll go in like that. And you can see there's a little inner lip. So we'll want to seat that down all the way. So we'll set that there, tap on it with a hammer. So there your bearing is seated all the way. Then you'll want to flip it over. You want to put your first seal in. Now your first seal, you'll want to put it in this direction. Before you do that, it's a good idea to put grease around the inside, similar to the crankcase seals. So first seal, we we'll want to seat it all the way down this direction. So there you have it seated down. You want to make sure you are past that hole there. Then you'll want to take your other seal and you'll want to put it in actually upside down like this. And you'll only want to go until this, this edge of the seal is flush with this inner surface of your water pump. There it is together. That seal is flush. So your hole opening from there in between the seals is open. It's kind of hard to see on the camera but there you have it. It's ready to install.